All right, guys, just making a quick video to show you how I made the lid for my rimless aquarium. All right, really easy, guys. This was just a um, light grate that I got from Home Depot. It comes in a big sheet, and then I just custom cut it. I get, I did get to some areas that it would not fit based on these squares, so I did buy from Amazon. I'll put this in the description down below. Some smaller squared grates that you can also buy and make this whole thing as well. But these come in little um, section sheets like this, so you have to clip them together. And I just thought that that would sag, so that's why I ended up not doing that. And I just bought the one solid sheet. Plus, I think it looks pretty cool with the lights. When the lights are blue, it kind of adds a neat little accent. Um, and functionally, I just think it's really good. I can like stack stuff up on, on, on here and it's really strong. I did get these great little um, rimless clips on Amazon. I'll put this in the description as well. They look like this. See that guys? Clips onto the edge of the tank, creates a nice lid. So pretty inexpensive on Amazon. I'll post that as well. And then we're planning on getting a zebra eel. And so I've been trying to get ready for an escape artist eel. It's kind of closing up all the gaps with those little squares, again, from those Amazon sheets. I used super glue on some of these to just bond this to this, but if you can guys use epoxy a lot better. Um, the super glue tends to crack off. Um, where this joint I did with epoxy and it's practically one piece now, so pretty strong. All right, this is what I'm most proud of. I have been racking my brain on how to make a good looking and quick opening lock for the eel. These are reptile clips that you can get also on Amazon. I will post this. I cut a slit in them with my miter saw so that it closes see closes nicely between the grate i just wanted something now i did notice if this eel was working on this look at that <laughs> that's totally not going to work right so i've been racking my brain on what to do and i just drilled a tiny little hole in the back straight through and then with a paper clip i just made a little lock so see, you just put that in there like that. Boom, problem solved. Nice and stiff. Did that to four sides. Coming over here. Again, guys, I'll post all this stuff in the description so you can easily find it. And I hope that that helps you come up with your rimless tank top.